You might remember that Tori was planning on building a treehouse. Earlier, you learned how to plumb, level, and square the building. But today, we're learning how to build a strong roof and floors. Ceilings and floors span at a relatively long distance. So they need to be strong so they don't sag in the middle. If a span is small, a simple beam will work. A short wooden beam is strong enough that it won't sag under its own weight. Not sagging. But as the length of the beam increases, the tendency to bend in the middle increases. See, this beam is bending just by me standing on it. That's where trusses come into play. As I walk onto this truss, it does not bend. You could think of a simple truss as a single triangle. So why use a triangle instead of another shape? Let's go take a look. Hey, Robert. Hey, Marco, what's up? So, Tori and I are going to be building a treehouse. Cool. We want a peaked roof and we want to do the ceilings and floors, so we're going to be using a truss. Oh, a truss is a great choice. Trusses are very strong, yet lightweight, and they can serve on materials. And they're lightweight because they use less materials than a beam of the same strength. And that strength has to do with the properties of triangles. That's right. And remember that a triangle is defined by its side lengths. Once you know the side lengths, there's only one shape the triangle can take, unless you bend or break a side. And that's why trusses use networks of triangles, so that individual segments are short. And shorter segments are stronger. Remember that small beams are strong enough to use over short spans. And there's another reason. Triangles can be used to form just about any polygonal shape. We can demonstrate that using these toys. Cool. Yeah. So, if we take three sticks and we connect them using these discs and we can create, wait for it, wait for it, a triangle. Try and change the shape of that triangle. I can't change the shape without breaking it. And yet, the sticks themselves are flexible. It's so simple, and yet it seems almost magical, doesn't it? It does. And if we build a network of triangles... Hmm. The system is rigid, yet the materials are relatively weak. The extra triangles create stiffness in the structure. That makes sense. I wonder if there's a particular pattern that's easiest to use, or can we just put them in wherever we like? Well, the truss will be stronger no matter where you put the extra segments, but it is easier to use standard size pieces. Oh, one way to break the triangle down is to use mid-segments. So those are the line segments that go from the midpoint of one side to the midpoint of another side. And the triangle mid-segment theorem tells us that that line segment is parallel to the bottom side and half as long. That makes it easy to use standard lengths. Mm -hmm. And as we can see, thank you, Amaka, it's beautiful. <laughs> On our new larger triangle, we've used two sticks to create each of our outer segments, which allowed us to use exactly one stick, half as long as the bottom side, for our mid-segment. Hmm. And because the mid-segment is parallel to the bottom side, mm -hmm. the smaller triangle is similar to the larger one. That makes it easy to measure and build. That's it. I wonder how many of these Tori and I will need to build the roof of our treehouse. Uh, more than this. 